Welcome back. A White House medical official says that an eventual coronavirus vaccine will be distributed to all of America simultaneously. Mm -hmm. This has a team of experts warn it may not be clear which coronavirus vaccines work best or whether they work at all until after they've already been authorized and are being given to many people. It's, it's an open question. Our senior, Liz, our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth Cohen, is with us. That was confusing to me reading, and I went back and read that study, but I mean, is it is it really the case that we may not know if some of the vaccines work at all until they're being distributed? Isn't that the whole point of FDA approval? Yeah. Right. Poppy, it is confusing. And so let me let me try to sort of give a bottom line here. The, F, the studies that are going on currently are in tens of thousands of people, these phase three clinical trials. So let's say uh, typically around 30,000 people. You can learn a lot about a vaccine with 30,000 people. You can determine if it works and you can determine if it's safe. However, once it's put out there on the market and it's taken in millions and millions of people, you can learn even more about the vaccine. Now, hopefully, Hopefully, these studies will be right, and the vaccine does work, and it is effective. That's typically how it does work. But sometimes you do learn more about a vaccine because you're giving it to more people. But I don't think anyone should take this as, wait a minute, these trials are useless. We're only going to know if it works once it's on the market. That's not true. Vaccine clinical trials do work, but it's also true that you do, do learn more about a vaccine when you give it to mm. millions and millions of people. Poppy? Okay. That All makes right, so, more so sense. Elizabeth. No, yeah. it does. It does. And it's, listen, there's a lot of confusion out there. Last thing we want to do is add to questions about the efficacy of these things. Uh, it, four large scale vaccine trials underway in the U.S. Where do they stand today? And which, if any, are the most promising? Yes, so let's take a look at this. They're kind of in two groups. So the first group would be Moderna and Pfizer. Moderna could have data in late November. That's what they tell us. Now, that data may say the vaccine doesn't work. That's possible. But they could have some data in late November. Pfizer, the same. They could have data in late November, could say it works, could say it doesn't, could say we don't know. Let's continue on with the trial. AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson are in a whole other category. AstraZeneca started their trial on August 31st, paused September 9th. And now, then they restarted um, on October 23rd. So they didn't get, they haven't gotten very far yet. Johnson and Johnson, similar situation, started September 23rd, paused October 12th, restarted October 23rd. So again, they did not get very far, but they have restarted, and the hope is is that these trials will go well and that we'll have an effective vaccine at the end of it. Let's hope so, and let's yeah. hope soon. Elizabeth, thank you very much for all of that reporting. Uh, we want to take you to the U.K.